And that is where we are at, right? That is where we are. The age of information is over and the age of mm. knowledge is now there. So mm. if you if you look at back in the days, right, who was the most intelligent person? I would say the monks and the pundits, I guess, or, or the viziers. Correct. So right. the viziers, the monks and the pundits, because they were able, they had access to information that the normal people in the society they didn't have. For example, when I was doing martial arts in my early career, my sensei mm-hmm. used to travel down to Mumbai and he would find out books about specific martial art, uh, this mm-hmm. thing. And then he used to show me all of these books. And as a, as a kid, I was used to be so excited. Okay, oh my God, I mean, he's got this book. Mm-hmm. I wish I can just get a hand off on those books and all this thing because these are like the secret knowledge or wisdom that's out there. And all that you have is the techniques, maybe the katas and, you know, this was old uh, uh, Okinawan uh, karate textbooks and all this thing that he would just go from uh, some places and he would just get those things. And so the, he was a guy who was holding the keys to the information because he had to stick to I mean, Nobody had access to it. I didn't have access. Back, if you look like centuries ago, I mean, the pundits, right? If you, hundreds of years ago, you had pundits. They only knew Sanskrit. They were able to read and write Sanskrit. And they were able to access certain specific literature that normal people did not have. And we would just put them up on the pedestal saying that, hey, you are the top posterior in the society. And you are everything. And we are just below you, right? That's what it used to happen. Mm. Then came the Industrial Revolution. So you have this entire Industrial Revolution that's going at. Again, the same thing used to happen was people who had information and they had memorized the thing. So back, I mean, this was true back 10 years back or five years back. Anybody who could just spit out the dates, the facts and everything from their memory, you will say, oh, this guy is intelligent. right? He knows his shit because he knows everything possibly about the subject. Yeah, right. Because he has read through that, mm. and then he's just because he's reading all those books, right? All this information. All the different words that a person yes. is using, how eloquent that person is. Basically, App- it's all memorization and application again and again, but seems smarter, correct? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And and then you would just find, oh, this guy's intelligent and he's got everything he can do. And then that, that would set a, and again, you would put, put this guy in, on a pedestal saying that, okay. Then came another set of people, right? And this is the wave of the education system. Even in India, we just caught up like Baiju's and all other places. This is basically Mm -hmm. summarizing the content that you had already, that you are now able Mm -hmm. to access on the internet. But now you're summarizing, Mm -hmm. you're providing analogy like uh, like how you would explain to a five-year kid and making it very, very simple. It's it's the same thing like when I used to study physics, my physics, I mean... uh, I, it used to be very bad because it was more textual context from that perspective. But when I see Baiju's or somebody else doing that, like Khan Academy, he would just explain it in a manner that even a simplistic way, I mean, a small kid can understand the concept and in a very practical manner. Yeah. So that age came in where people started doing that. And then it was so awesome. Like everybody wanted to be paid. We, we were all consuming all amount of information, right? Because it was so easy. Everybody could understand everything. Uh, and mm. then the moment hit when the chat GPT mm. was introduced. Mm. Right? And this, yeah. this is where the large language model, which was trained over yeah. thousands and thousands of data sets over the years, over the years, and it just kind of simplified everything. It just gave access to all those things that creators had, all those things that everybody had into the most simplistic form ever that you can just spin off in matter of spit out in matter of just 15 to 20 seconds and it will just give you the right context you don't have to go and browse the internet for everything like how do you like the researchers that i know my friends in ey kpmg and they will just research sit down and you know do all the research. they will make all the chart and then they will call themselves as the most intelligent guy consultants in the world now essentially they've been just replaced by one prompt that i would have to write and iteratively or incrementally i'll have to just keep on giving the prompt and then voila i mean uh, my market research is done i've got a business plan how to do a podcast in 2023 and make a lot of money and it will just spit out every specific thing topics Mm. that you want to do the audience that you want to cater to who you want to do how you want to talk to what are the best possible because it's got learning from every single piece that's out there on the internet 
Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's what te- technology has always done, right? Uh, eliminate the repetitive work, eliminate the manpower based work. I mean, if I want to find out the most trending hashtags to make an Instagram post, I can do either of two. I can either do a research of three hours or I let ChatGPT do the research and give me the answers based on the questions. So I I, I still, I st- it's not like it's it was there. It is still there that there are websites which are charging you $9 to $10 a month to give you those trending hashtags. But this platform is like, google is the next revolution uh that is the main reason i wanted you to be over here a uh, few of you guys who do not know this aditya has a huge background in cyber security and uh, he has spent decades in the domain and i would imagine that he is the most appropriate person to talk about this can you explain to a to a layman what is chat gpt actually because i came across it a little bit late only only a few weeks ago i read about it or i started going through it and then that's when i reached you out to explain it in a better manner okay uh, from a simple perspective a chat gpt um, gpt here not many people know about it, it stands for generative pre trained transformer okay um, a transformer is a way how you train something right so if you look at a baby the way babies identify certain things, they will use either a classifier system. Basically, you give them certain thing, you give them an apple, you give an orange, and then you say, that, okay, what is this fruit? And then you would say, say, this is apple, this is orange. Now you give them different sets of tools or different sets of fruits, right? Uh, which may look like a apple. I mean, different sizes of apple. Maybe it's a green apple. Maybe it's a red apple. Maybe it's a red Kashmiri apple or or uh, maybe uh, other kind of oranges. And then you keep asking and the baby will just look into that and then it will remember uh, the shape, size and the characteristics of that. And then it will just do that. So this is in a very simplistic term, how an AI also learn through a classifier technology uh, method. Right? Mm. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's more of a supervised kind of a training that's being done. So. So there, so what chat GPT stand for, I mean, it was from this perspective is that it's a set of training done on text that's out there on the internet, all the articles, all the eBooks or the books that's out there, all the, uh, all the stuff that's out there on the internet until 2021 is what they scoured over all this thing and using NLP, natural language processing technique, uh, they have been able to take that and they would be able to understand and train over over the period of time to now understand what exactly everything means. Okay, and it being mm. able to give you that uh, information. So that's mm. that's essentially what ChatGPT is. So in a very simplistic term, it's nothing but I'm taking a whole set of data with me that is out there. I'm just training the data. Now I can ask questions on data, and it not only ask answer the direct question or logical question that's out there but it will also interconnect all of the things together and then it will give you an answer 